Okay, I have no idea if I've shown you this in the state, but I'm about to work on it some more. I just got back from a camping trip and I've not been looking at this for a while. So with fresh eyes, um, there's a couple of things that I know immediately that I wanna do. The first thing I'm gonna jump into is I want to raise this. I feel like it needs to be higher. I think originally I thought there were gonna be flowers coming out of that, but I don't want flowers now. I want flowers here. And then this needs to be about right here. So I'm gonna raise that up. I wasn't loving this pattern, I don't think anyways. I wanted to refine it so that'll work out great. And what was the other thing? I need to work some more on these flowers, but all my flowers died. So I kind of need them to grow back quickly. Hey bud, we're filming. Say hello mom, I needed to come in and say hey. Is that tail just a going? Did you have the best camping trip ever? Ever, ever. So yeah, I'm ready to eat, Mom. Hmm? You're feeling a little better with all your pain meds, aren't you? Yeah, getting a little life back in me. Yeah, getting a little life. So that's what I'm gonna tackle right now. Um, actually have all my paintings. Oh, actually I forgot they blew all around, so I had to bring them in, but you can see uh, one of the sketchbooks sticking out there. I've got everything out there I'm spraying with fixative. Um, from the trip, I did 50 million paintings, so getting those jet, um, fixative did it. <laughs> Spraying them with fixative while I'm going to paint on this, and Grady's out fishing, so yay. And I've put this one up here as reference. I think I'm going to just use these flowers as reference also because I'm not going to the grocery store a few day, for a few days, so I don't have flowers. In fact, that's where I had my table. I forgot that I was using Grady's camping table where he, like, he puts the grill and everything, so we had to take everything down. So here's my stack of all my fabric. Here's half of my still life. The rest of it's all up there someplace. But um, so I've got to rearrange that. So and there's the trash can, which was out in the den. Uh, my poor studio. It is in redonkulous mode right now. I feel like I can't even function, but I'm going to. Right, Coopy? We're gonna function. See ya, mom. Let's function. Okay, so that was super fun. Um, I changed that vase completely. Thought I would put some birds and used some of the pattern underneath to create the pattern on the birds and to look like flowers behind. Uh, and then I even just left some of the vase down here, even though I, th yeah, because I think it's fine to kind of complicate things and not make everything completely squared off, I added some flowers up there. I can't decide yet if I'm done with, whoops, sorry, with my pointing, I'm messing things up. Can't decide if I'm done with those flowers or not. Time will tell. And added some grapes. Pretty happy with it, how it's coming along. Last week we had our big, I say we, I included Grady in this because he worked so hard, but we had our big first online class launch. If you're interested in that class, you can look at last week's video. We tell about it. I'll also have a link down below that will take you straight to the class where you can learn information about it. But we had that launch and last week was more like a normal week because I had been you know, working like a maniac for the last six or seven months. And particularly the last two months have just been at a pace for me that I don't think I wanna keep up. And so having a normal week, I was trying to rest, but because I was very, very tired. I was having some health issues, but also just tired. But I also found that I was a little like, hmm, what did I used to do when I had even a millisecond of extra time in my life? I was out of that rhythm of creating and making all the time. And also felt a little discombobulated of what I wanted to do as far as creating. So I just took my time. I rested a lot last week. I did things like get art books out, look through those, take my time just kind of getting inspired again. Also spent time working in my sketchbooks.
and then I thought I would kind of just ease into the tub. I don't know why I just said that, but basically ease back into painting with a little bit smaller painting, which was fine, and just doing my normal jump in, make a mess, try to figure things out. thought I would show you real quick where I am on this. I'm really having a lot of fun with it. I have not been painting on canvas in a while, so it's been really fun. Um, I'm continuing to work on this background. I'm gonna add my leopards. I was just doing leopards, and then I was like, oh, I think I wanna add some zebras. But I think I want the leopards to stay. And I'm loving how all of this is coming. I may not even do a lot more work to it. But I do want this to be a red vase, and I think with flowers or something on here, maybe a pony. I haven't decided, but I don't want two things of pink. Originally, this was going to be red and white polka dotted like that. Um, but I ended up liking the pink. And I liked this when this was red, but it got too busy, so I needed to just psh, wipe the slate clean. But I think it's a really colorful and fun one. So I am thinking maybe, no, maybe I don't need two like horses, maybe not a pony, but something fun is going on that vase. I'll keep you informed, but I love these colors. I think all of this is working so well. I first had this painting turned this way. What would that be vertical? And I was doing some like pattern, but I uh, didn't like it. So then I just turned it back this way and left some of that pattern, which I really like. I really got stuck on this one section of the painting and worked on it over and over and over. I did not even film all the things that went in that left hand section of that painting. I mean, it went from everything from a woman to a teapot to birds, I mean, you name it, and it was in that area. I still haven't resolved it. I'm still playing and just trying to keep it loose. Sometimes when I have a big section like that that I really just can't even figure out, I'll end up painting over the entire painting again. So I don't know, at this point, as I'm filming this, it's still not resolved. The other thing I did last week was rearrange the studio a little bit to make it flow a little bit better. So it felt a little like productive, what do they call it? Productive procrastination. But it felt really good too to just spend some time getting the studio in a little bit better working manner for the way that I'm working now, which was really fun. 
All right, I have been thinking about the layout of this room. I've really been enjoying having all my like kind of dry sketchbook multimedia stuff all on this table. So I can just leave one space for a sketchbook and have everything just kind of around me. But a big chunk of this area right here is also my painting stuff, which is spilling out over here and then over here too. But I've decided, I, I mean, I've just not been using the easel in forever. So uh, what I've been using is this space, this wall. I like the consistent lighting. I'm never dealing with the glare from the light. So I think what I'm gonna do, instead of having this sticking out like it is, I think I'm gonna turn it this way, maybe scoot it over here, and then if I have room, maybe put another bookcase over on that wall. Just haven't decided yet if that's gonna, I know it's gonna open up the space, but then if I put something else on that wall, uh, is it gonna feel crowded? So I may just put it here in the corner and then either find a little table. I feel like I need to use that space. Of course, sometimes I set up the tripod there. So I think the first thing is to get this moved and also to get into the abyss. I've been calling that the abyss back there. There's so much stuff uh, that falls back there. It will be nice to like get to all of it and see what I can find back there that has fallen. And then what I'm gonna use this desk for, I do think I'm gonna take the easel possibly off of it and then just use this table to put all my paint stuff, like my paint pots, all my extra paint pots that are here, and just use this as my section. Cause I do like walking away from the painting and coming over to like rinse the brush or get more paint. And it helps me just step back. That's the plan for today. Alrighty, I feel thrilled with this new setup. And I feel like it was nice because I organized kind of the stuff underneath here. Here's Cooper looking inappropriately. <laughs> Coop, hey bud, wrong camera. Oh, sorry about that, mom. Uh, I'll try to, I'll try. oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Yes, he's a good boy. There's the new setup. I was able to organize under there a little bit, which was good. And got a space here for like, uh, cardboard and like things that sometimes I will attach paper to to paint on and I used to have my brushes in this drawer basically now I have a free drawer decided it would be nice to have them out here this is just an old stay wet palette I would like to find like a antique wooden something I actually probably have something around here I need to go look and then I'll have my paint pots that have the paint in them and then my mixing paint pots here water more pots, my medium and water, you know, just stuff that I use quite a bit. Um, extra big things of paint that I've mixed. And then I brought my trash can right there. I have more things under there, my paint pot thing that's overflowing. Uh, I kept this little TV tray here because I'm forever needing like a little bit of an extra space. Uh, these are two little bowls that have like random small stuff that I always kept like on the ledge of my easel, which by the way, I put my easel back there just in case I do wanna pull it out and use it. But I think this is going to work great because then I can just, you know, go right there to paint. And then this I spread out. So I got rid of all the you know paint pot stuff that was back there. Got all my mixed media stuff. I'm able to have at least two sketchbooks right here working. Uh, these are sketches that are in the works. Actually, this is one I did today outside on our property, which was nice for just a few minutes sketched. Cooper joined us and Grady was in the driveway building some steps for our Airstream camper for this guy. So he doesn't slip around. You didn't really care or need to know that probably. And then that way I've just got things like my gouache. I've got, you know, dry medium 
just able to just spread it all out. I think that's gonna be really nice. And then I've got another space here that if I'm kind of like rotating three different sketchbooks, you know, working and then letting it dry and then working back over it, I can just rotate. I think it's gonna be great. Yay. And how about the nice like tablecloth for the curtain there? Mm, fancy and professional. <laughs> Coop, what do you think about it, huh? Oh, do you like it? Oh, I see the toe wagon. Do you like it? Oh, mom, and thanks for the new haircut today. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. Don't fall over, though. I thought I would get to organize this area. This area needs to be cleaned off. This area is actually not too bad, so I'm fine with that. And as usual, things just kind of spill over into the den. You know, don't you, don't you have still life fake fruit on your uh, lamp? table in your den and pile of fabric <laughs> there for your still life. Yeah, everybody's got a still life set up in their den. This feels so much more open. I feel like I can just move a little freer. I would love to not have this desk right here. Uh, it does sometimes feel a little crowded, but I really, really like sitting here and editing and doing computer work and being able to look out. And then I often, you know, I used to have my easel there, so I would have paintings there to be able to look at and kind of assess. I've got like this here. So that's why I do this. I do like this setup, so I'm just gonna keep it. I mean, it makes it a little squeezy right through there too, but oh well. So there it is, yay. And then the other thing that happened last week, which felt so stinking exciting, was I sold my first big painting. I have so many new paintings that I have not even shown you guys here or over on Instagram because I've been so busy for the last six or seven months, I haven't even had time to photograph them. I've been painting and I just have some really fun, exciting paintings paintings that I'm excited about. So I've been working on a couple really, really big pieces and some you guys have been seeing them in the background and stuff of the videos and over on Instagram and somebody reached out and wanted to buy it and I was so excited. So I did do some photos and filmed some of that before we packaged it off. But that felt really exciting because I've been wanting to go big for so long and I've just enjoyed painting big. And I thought, I can't paint big if they don't sell. And so it's so old. <laughs> that felt really exciting. It felt exciting until then I was like, oh no, packaging and shipping. So I hand that over to Grady and he's working on that. So nice to have somebody that does all the hard physical labor stuff. Urgh, thanks, babe. You did a great job on that. You haven't done it yet, but I know you're going to do a great job. Yeah, so it was just a low-key week. Really, this week, which is today I'm filming on Monday, this feels like the first day I've had like a little energy. Well, yesterday I felt like I had some energy, but uh, I feel kind of more, or I feel less discombobulated with like, what's my life? What am I doing? I don't know how to get back in the flow. And what I'm going to continue doing is just working in my sketchbook, staying inspired, and then jump back into paintings as I'm feeling inspired. I need to get some more canvases prepped is what I need to do. So it's just been a crazy six or seven months for me doing the workshop earlier in the year and then working on these classes. And I have so many things just bursting in my head. Um, I've got a notebook, I'm taking notes and notes and notes for next classes and working on little things. So I'm glad that you guys have been enjoying the new class. I mean, I've been hearing from so many of you and you're loving it and I'm just thrilled because I worked so hard on it. We just worked so hard. So I'm glad that it's been good and it's going well. So now just kind of, I'm going to take a few months to just, or at least a month to get back in the flow of life and get my tools sharp again of creating and having a more normal life, daily life of working on YouTube stuff, but also creating. I miss that just natural flow of coming in and editing, which uses one part of my brain, and then creating, which uses another. That's a really life-giving flow for me. So I'm looking forward to that being the flow this week and for at least a month, because I need a break and rest and creating. I just feel like, please let me create. It's just in me and that need to get back to that. So I've already said that and I'm rambling. So that means it's probably time to wrap this thing up.
So I will see you back here next week. Bye guys. Heading out to go paint this morning. So excited. This was our collab that we did together. Five minutes each. We rotated five minutes every five minutes. <laughs> you may have just seen the Instagram uh, reel that I just posted and just a, another landscape. Again, just using my hands, my fingers and smooshing everything around using other um, sketches of mine as inspiration just playing i desperately needed to just play a little bit today been doing way too much computer work and this was super fun super 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 fun came out to the lake again today a new spot um it was amazing the weather's amazing and then i found like these cool buildings over here uh to sketch which were so fun i kept like walking down there to get different views I had this little ledge here to set all my stuff on, and here are my paintings. They are so fun. So happy with them. Um, just, yeah, really fun. These will be really fun ones to make other paintings from. So, yeah, three, lots of fun. Loving my setup. Felt like I needed to get my hands dirty today for just a few minutes, and so I just smeared. I put everything out and just made a mess, and it was so fun. Very abstract, loose landscape, and I just love it. It was so fun. I'm going to do another one right now. I also only used my hands. I didn't use any brushes, or I would just take the paint and use this to um, smear it around. So that was super fun. Very messy hands. Mm -hmm. 